Dean, I know you're supposed to be in way for a bit of R&R before you head back home. But as you can imagine, circumstances require every available man. We've secured the perimeter of the compound, but otherwise, way is in enemy hands. They've taken control of the Citadel, and only us and the Arvin Division headquarters up north are holding out. We've got additional men coming up from Fubai, and the 101st is holding off any NVA reinforcements. But as usual, it's up to the Marines to move the heavy load. Captain Van Bow has asked the 5th to clear out New City and secure the south bank of the Perfume. I'm including you in the operation orders for tomorrow's action. The attacks cost us a lot of leaders, and we need you to fill in. Captain Dandridge is taking his men out to clear the hostels from the residential and commercial districts south of the Perfume River. I want you and Dan Schunauer to join him. It's going to be house-to-house -house fighting, and it will be ugly. Guaranteed. Let's clear the lower floor. Don't leave a room unchecked. Getting down. Guys know where to quit.
church is just up the street. The NBA are really dug in, so watch your ass. Keep your eyes open for rocket crews. It's a mass grave. We've been getting intel about this. These bastards came into this city with hit lists. They've been rounding up civilians and executing them. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm writing to let you know I'm fine. The attacks were unexpected and I lost a lot of new friends, but we're all Marines and we pulled together. We held on to the compound where I've been staying and yesterday we managed to clear out the enemy from the south part of the city. The way it used to be beautiful, but not now. Almost every wall still standing has holes in it and fires have taken apart whole neighborhoods. I mean, it would have been worse except for the rain. Since I came to Nam, I've seen a lot of dead bodies, but fighting in a city is something else. A lot of the people that we haven't found dead have just disappeared. I'm hoping they ran off when the fighting started, but the rumor is that the North Vietnamese rounded up large groups of citizens they deemed undesirable 
and marched them out of the city. We found our grave outside a church the other day, with about 50 bodies dumped in it. The Viet Cong and North Vietnamese really hate Catholics. I know the news you guys are hearing isn't very good, but remember, you are only getting one side. The countryside hasn't risen up against us, and the South Vietnamese troops are fighting just as hard as we are to keep the country free. If the newsmen saw what I did, they'd be singing a different tune. Remember, I'll be home safe in a short time. I hear Jamie and the guys at Quezon are holding out fine, but I'm sure he hasn't had an opportunity to write since this all started. I'll write again when I find out more. Love, Dean.